The Roland TR8 is one of the best drum machines for quickly creating drum patterns. Its 16 step sequencer is ideal for quickly tapping drum patterns in and its group of knobs and faders are great for on the fly sound tweaking. But it does have limitations such as no option to record or import in new samples meaning you're limited to the built in 808 and 909 sounds. It also only gives you two bars of 16 step sequencing, which is okay, but can feel pretty limiting if you're wanting to sequence long patterns across many bars. Integrating it as a MIDI controller for Ableton Live can overcome these limitations. Using the TR8 to play the pads inside a drum rack in Ableton Live gives you the possibility to access an unlimited supply of samples and you can record sequences of unlimited length. There are, however, still limitations with this setup. Using the TR8 as a MIDI controller in Ableton means that you'll lose control over each sample's volume, decay, and other handy parameters via the knobs and faders. Yes, you can MIDI map the controls to parameters inside a drum rack, but you'll be limited to controlling only one drum rack. If you want to control another drum rack in your session, you would need to spend a tedious amount of time remapping all of the controls again. You also won't have the ability to move around the session or record clips directly from the TR8. The Roland TR8 has the potential to be an awesome Ableton MIDI controller, if only these limitations could be fixed. Well, now they have. We've created a premium Ableton script for the TR8, which is built to give you dynamic control over all of your Ableton drum racks. The ATFI script gives you instant control over any selected drum rack in your session. You can record patterns of any length into the currently highlighted clip slot, navigate across tracks and up down through scenes. The script auto maps the TR8 in every session, so there's no need to MIDI map each time. It also includes a ready to use drum rack which is specifically configured for the TR8 and this script. The following controls available in the Atify script. The two knobs on each channel have various functions, which can be accessed by turning the mode switcher knob. In mode one, they control the first two macro knobs of each pad. In mode two, the second two macro knobs, And in mode 3, they control the first two send levels for each pad. The multifunctional clip knob is a powerful way to record clips. Turning the knob a quarter of the way arms the selected track, meaning MIDI from the TR8 begins playing through. Turning the knob up a third begins recording a clip. Turn it past halfway to stop recording the clip. Turning it back to the left, unarms the track. If the clip slot already has a clip, then turning it to the left turns on overdub. And turning it to the right turns off overdub. You can also use the knob below to duplicate and halve the selected clip loop. And turning it all the way to the right deletes the selected clip. This, combined with the track and scene navigation knobs, makes it super quick to move to and record into a clip slot. Control of the selected drum rack's first two return tracks, mode 1 controls macros 1 and 2, mode 2 controls macros 3 and 4, and mode 3 controls the chain volume and panning for each return track. Here's a demo of the typical recording workflow. First I'll navigate to the track and scene that I want to record into, then I'll arm the track and I'll play in some drum parts.
And now I'm going to play with some of the macro parameters. So I'm now changing the bass drum sound. Faders for each channel are connected to the chain volume for each drum sound, which can be accessed through all three different modes. And shuffle is still available, which is the TR8 built in shuffle. I'm recording my pattern in. That's now looping. Now that I have a pattern recorded into a clip in Ableton, I'm going to add some fills to this pattern at the ends of various bars. So the first thing I want to do is to delete the current pattern from the TR8. And once I have this blank pattern in place. To record them in, I can turn the multifunctional knob to turn on overdub. I can input fills or extra beats at various points in my recording. The Atify script also includes a ready-to-use drum rack, which is pre-configured to work with the TR8. Each pad's name matches a channel on the TR8, and each pad is preloaded with an instrument rack and sampler. The instrument rack is connected to some essential functions such as decay, transpose, and sample selection. Obviously, as these are macro knobs, you can change their assignments to match your own needs. If you want to have multiple samples on a pad, drop them all in. Click the select button. Then right click and select distribute ranges equally. You can then change the selected sample using the knob for macro. After installing the script into Ableton, open the preferences and then the MIDI tab. Set control surface to 85, set the input to TR8 and leave the output blank. The TR8 tempo will auto sync with Ableton's, but you may need to adjust the sync delay so that it's in time. The best way to do this is to turn on the metronome and import a simple beat. Open the out tab in the MIDI port section. And then with the metronome playing and the beat, you can adjust the MIDI clock sync delay so that they both line up together. Now, each time you load any Ableton session, all mappings will be ready to use across all of your drum racks. Our MIDI script editor, Control Surface Studio, to alter the script however you like. Control Surface Studio has a large selection of mapping options, which you can use to add new controls and create totally new custom modes for your script. Links are in the description to purchase the 85 script and Control Surface Studio.